All right, let's talk about reed valves. Reed valves, they're uh, what your throttle body, well, your reed valve sits behind your intake boot. Your intake boot is what your uh, throttle body is mounted to. These are the reed valves out of my, I got a 06 Snow Pro with a F7 EFI motor in it. So 700 EFI lay down. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see very well, but the ends of the reeds are starting to chip off a little bit. Um, looks like I'm getting decent enough seal on them, but I got new reeds, so I don't want to, <clears throat> I guess, lose any power because the the ends of my reeds are starting to chip back. I've had a goofy thing with this sled where. <laughs> It's uh, kind of only likes wide open, but it could be attributed to some other issues I'm running into. But I'm going to make sure since I had the throttle bodies out, I'm going to do my reeds and make sure that's not, not an issue. The main thing to do, I guess, to first take it apart is you got four screws each side um, holding the stopper, your reed valve stopper, so that only allows the pedals to open up so far um, they also got a measurement for your reeds um, I typically just watch for a seal around each end if I pull that that pedal back you can and let it snap down you can see it because it's kind of wet it seals up to the the reed block itself. If I got reeds that aren't sealing good, I'll make sure to replace them. So this whole bottom side uh, reed pedal, the ends are sealing good, but the the, the sides are not. Um, so I want to make sure I get that replaced and and get that fixed up. So. You'll notice on your, your reed stopper as well as your reed valves, um, the I'll call it the bottom right hand corner is clipped off, and that's that's for a purpose. So the book tells you to make sure that the clipped corner of your reed valve is in the bottom right hand corner when you replace your valves as well as your stopper. Um, the valves are manufactured to, to bend and flex a certain way so if you put them on backwards I don't know what the exact result would be but the book says to put it this way with the, with the notch to the bottom right so that's the way I'm going to do it and that's the way I've always done it. Um, we'll clean this up just quickly it's kind of oily Make sure it gets dirt and grime off there that might be there. We don't want to contaminate our engine. So these here are our new pedals. Um, I didn't get real expensive with this. You can obviously go the Moto Tesari route and get V-Force reeds. I just bought stock replacements and running stock cages and, then, and that. Um, I haven't had bad luck. But uh, I also haven't ran the uh, Moto Tesari stuff to see if I noticed a difference in it either. So I might have to try that sometime. It's just hard to, for me to justify that much money on 
reads. So the book says to put a spot of red Loctite on these small screws before you reinstall them. Um, since we do everything by the book around here, that's what I'm going to do. Make sure when you're using Loctite, do as I say, not as I do. I don't always wait for the recommended dry time, which I think is something ridiculous like 24 hours, but I'm doing this far enough ahead of time that uh, the Loctite should be able to sit and cure before I got to run this machine. So again, reed cage, lay the pedals down with the notch to the bottom right, grab your stopper, again obviously notch to the bottom right. I'll actually have a hard time putting it on the other way. He's got some Loctite on him. Just get him started. There is not a torque spec on these little screws, so since we put red Loctite on them, I'm not too worried about them coming out. But obviously if one come out, that would be bad news because uh, it's going to go right into your cylinder or your crankcase and make a mess on its way around. But just get them as tight as you can with a Phillips screwdriver without stripping the heads out because that will bum you out the next time you go in and try to do anything. Again, notch bottom right, notch bottom right. So I foolishly deleted the last part of that video where I told you when you reassemble the reed cage back into the block, um, the bolts that hold the reed cage in, and the reed cage will go into the block, you put the intake boot over the back side of the reed cage and the, the bolt will run through both and tighten into the case. Torque spec on that is 9 foot pounds or 108 inch pounds. Um, the only other thing I would have said was something along the lines of if you like this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. If you got questions, reach out however you'd like. Facebook, Instagram, um, comment on the video. Get a hold of me how you can. I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching.